Hello everybody and welcome to the channel. If you're new here, if this is your first time here, I am Wade, this is Way of Fishing. We cover everything from in, inshore saltwater to freshwater creek fishing, kayaks, john boats, you name it. I've got a lot to offer. We do a lot of education, tips, tricks, how to, um, share my experience with you guys and I love interacting with you. So every comment you drop, I will answer. If it's your first time here, hit that subscribe button. It would mean the world to me if you subscribe to my channel. Today's video is a little different, guys. This is something I've been planning to do for at least about two years, but for whatever reason, I've just been hesitant to do it. But this is probably the most epic fishing hack that you have ever seen. I don't think I've seen this anywhere, and uh, that's there's probably a reason for that. There is something to be said about experience, okay? Um, I'm not going to call myself an old salt because I really didn't do a lot of saltwater fishing until like the last six or seven years But I've been around for a little while and I've met a lot of really old timers who shared a lot of information with me And today is the most epic piece of information I've ever gotten from anybody in regards to fishing So let's get right into it so Today's video it's salt water, okay? So if you're fishing salt water, um, your lures may end up looking like this. So I don't know if that's even going to be in focus. Let's see if we can work on that a little bit. Uh, you see that? That is rust. That is rust. So this bait, I didn't treat. Okay, it's even got rust on the back on the paint right there. Um, but I never treated this bait. So we're going to set that there. Um, this bait... I've had this bait for two years now. This is a bomber, but donk donk I know that's a beautiful bait, isn't it? I'll link it below. Um, but look at the hooks on that. Look at that pristine bait. Now, this bait has been used. This bait has actually caught fish. Um, this bait has been used in Florida, in uh, Clearwater Beach, and it's been used in the Chesapeake Bay. Um, and it is pristine. There is no rust on that line tie. I've never had a, a cause. These are the original um, hooks on there. Uh, These two mirror lures, look at them. I, again, I use these in Clearwater Beach, Florida, in the surf of the Gulf. Um, there is not an ounce of rust on that bait. Uh, and this will work whether you're spraying them off with a hose or not. Um, so um, you can use this. I know I've got a video uh, where I went kayak camping. You don't have access to fresh water. So your lures and your jig heads, they're on the rods for two, three days without being rinsed off, okay? Um, salt water corrodes metal really really quickly and for whatever reason in my opinion salt water hooks are designed to rust out quickly They're the fastest rusting pieces of metal. I've ever seen so um, aside from maybe a gamagatsu um, This bait we're gonna talk about So this bait you have seen this in so many videos. This is a mirror lure double prop Okay, um, I've lost some of these to big striper and I've you know, caught quite a few speckled trout on these. Um, the bait works fine, but I want to show you this guy. That back hook, the back hook has rust on it, but it's not like devastatingly rusty, okay? There is some rust here. I don't even know if the camera's going to show this. Um, but look at the front. There's barely any rust there, okay? Um, no rust on the prop. Now, there's a reason for that. This bait stayed on a rod. So when it's on the rod and it's clipped to the line holder, it hangs this way. So all the water drained to the bottom and dripped off. So this was the part that was subject, subjected to salt water the longest. And subsequently, that's the part of the bait that's actually rusted. Hook's coming out. Uh, I couldn't treat this bait. Um, I have one time. So like, it's been treated before. You can see the use on it. The paint's gone from where the hook, the hook has been rubbed against it. If you could feel it, there are teeth marks all in the bait. Uh, teeth marks all in the belly One time I didn't treat this bait uh, This bait went uh, camping with me and on that instance I actually didn't bring any of this chemical to treat the baits with and uh, It that that was one trip one trip ate that hook up like that. Okay, so What is this amazing chemical and why does it work? Well, I'm gonna tell you guys this is a chemical that has been around for a hundred years um, all of you have access to it some of you probably already have this chemical or can mix this chemical up at home what is this amazing chemical that keeps fishing lures from rusting and saves you a ton of money 
in your tackle. What is this amazing chemical you say? Well, I'm gonna tell you what this amazing chemical is. Antifreeze, guys. Antifreeze. Antifreeze. Yes. We say it one more time. The amazing fishing chemical that all of you have access to that will save you money and is just mind-blowingly effective is antifreeze. So, how do I use it? This is a peanut butter jar, okay? I picked this because it's plastic. If I drop this, it won't break. I can put this in a kayak, in a backpack, and I'm good, okay? Um, so, what is the miracle of antifreeze? Why does antifreeze work in this scenario? I know I'm shaking this violently in your face. Uh, you have to understand how a car works, okay? And this is where being an all-rounded type of individual really helps you because uh, jack of all trades, master of none type of deal. So inside of a car, this antifreeze is circulating around the engine. Well, a lot of people don't realize that inside of your motor, there are a lot of different types of metal, okay? When you mix metals, you cause a corrosive situation. So as that antifreeze is passing through the water pump and the hose and the engine block and the heads and all of those parts and pieces and valves and pipes and, 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 and things, it picks up particles of the different metals. Okay, um, it's kind of like if you've watched any of the videos about us uh, building John boats and all, we talk about adding galvanized metal to aluminum and how they react with each other and eat each other up and they'll destroy your aluminum and you can't do those sorts of things. So it's the same principle behind antifreeze. So antifreeze, not only does it help keep the engine cool, but it has one key feature that is applicable to us as fishermen. It has additives in it that inhibit corrosion. This is a anti-corrosive liquid. This liquid is designed to prevent, stop, and inhibit corrosion, i.e. rust. So, if you take a bait that has metal parts on it, stainless steel hooks, steel hooks, whatever the case may be, and don't get in antifreeze, it won't rust because the chemicals in here prevent the rust, okay? Um, what is antifreeze? It's basically salts in solution. So you're just dropping a bait in here that's got some salt on it. Not only is the liquid gonna get the salt off, but the antifreeze itself is going to prevent that metal from rusting. Mind blown, like what? Okay, uh, I'm gonna tell you, this is amazing. Before I shot this video, I wanted to run a test case because I know, I know how the comments are gonna be. If this dumped on the ground and a dog ate it, that's really bad. Okay, if a cat or a dog or wild animal ate this, it's really bad, but I dropped some jig heads and a mirror lure inside of this thing of antifreeze. And I left it for about 45 days. Like I dropped them in there, just clipped them off, dropped them in, and didn't go saltwater fishing. So I had no need to take them out. This will not eat the paint off of a hard bait. This will not eat the paint off of a lead head jig. This will stop the hooks from rusting immediately. Don't leave gulp on a hook because gulp will destroy a hook. Um, but what's the bad what's the downside here you save money it's cheap you probably already got some from adding it to your car you don't even need a lot this is a 50 50 diluted mix you can use it undiluted or you can use it diluted um this i would recommend a peanut butter jar because it's big enough to fit a four or five inch top water in it's got some space you can shake it up kind of swish things around you don't have to fill it as much because if you just shake it around it's going to do the job too real quick tip if you're gonna use a peanut butter jar, it is some work to clean the peanut butter out of the jar. Um, my recommendation is, you know, the, the pods that you use for dishwashers. Um, get a dishwasher pod, drop it in some hot water um, inside the jar and then shake it violently, let it soak. I don't know what's in dishwasher pods, but it kind of feels like you shouldn't get it on your skin because it will eat the peanut butter right off the inside of this and you'll have a perfectly clean jar that doesn't even smell like peanut butter when you're done. I don't know about the pods. I know they are highly, it's a very strong base. You can tell because it's really slippery when it does get on your hands. So don't leave that stuff on your hands if it gets on there. Um, it's not acidic. It's just highly, it's a very strong base. So, um, but it will clean the peanut butter out of this jar in a heartbeat with some hot water. That's it, really down and dirty. Antifreeze, salt water baits, keeps them from rusting. All you need to know, pour it in a plastic container, get out there and go fish. 
thank you for watching way of fishing i appreciate it don't forget to like comment and subscribe i will answer your comments i'm glad you guys are here we're trying to grow this channel right now i'm almost at 4,000 friends and i appreciate every single one of you uh, make sure you check out my patreon because there's more content there and a greater access to me and the things we do here you can actually go and get unedited director's cut videos on patreon you can get a hold of me um, you can participate in zoom classes skype conversations uh you can actually group chats there's a whole bunch of things available to my patreon subscribers so even if you don't subscribe to the patreon go check it out maybe something there that interests you that's it for me way of fishing signing out thanks for watching get out there fish your way all that good stuff i'm gonna drop some baits in this antifreeze because i'm getting ready to go saltwater fishing deuces <laughs>